Ladies and gentlemen, really quickly, before I talk about President Trump's tweet, which he should not have sent, and this is what I meant, I've been telling everyone for the past couple of weeks, they're going to get him, they're going to try to set up either a trap for him, or he's going to fall into a trap. He obviously did not hear what was said. It wasn't a subliminal to the millions of people in Wisconsin and Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin and, oh, and um, Pennsylvania and Michigan. Why did the people of Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Michigan vote for Trump when they voted for President Obama twice and Bill Clinton twice? Because they hadn't voted for a Republican since the 80s. There wasn't a contingent of horrible racist monsters that voted for President Trump. If you think that, you don't know why President Trump is going to win again, despite this, <laughs> this, <laughs> this very, very bizarre... Uh, day. A retweet is not an endorsement. He did not endorse what was said. He didn't hear. Nice try. You can say that he, he knew what he was saying. He knew what he was saying. Well, enjoy eight years of President Trump because you have no clue why anyone votes for President Trump. And you're so apoplectic and hysterical. Anything that he does has a, has a subliminal meaning. Uh, Ten reasons to celebrate the First Step Act. By Van Jones. Did President Trump sign the First Step Act to ensure that federal prisons will also rehabilitate and heal, not just punish? Um, there's other benefits to the first, a great many benefits. Thousands serving outdated sentences for crack cocaine charges can come home, and some wrongheaded components of the 1994 crime bill get scaled back. Why did he sign this? Isn't that really bad for the, all the horrible contingent, the the wide swaths of really, really just terrible, bigoted people, wouldn't they be offended? Where was the subliminal when he signed the First Step Act? So he shouldn't have tweeted the tweet, obviously. I condemn the retweeting of what uh, Trump's retweeting. I condemn it. But do you condemn the First Step Act? You watching in judgment. Do you condemn the First Step Act? Do you know anything about politics at all? Which is why you, you're going to have Trump for eight years. Thank God, he's a great president, aside from the tweeting. Three, less obvious changes win big applause from people in federal prisons and their families. Because the bill was informed by people who have actually been incarcerated themselves or, or have loved ones incarcerated, it's full of provisions that will uh, dramatically improve the lives of people in prison. So, we can go here. Four, incarcer incarcerated women and juveniles will suffer less. Five, Congress will have new sunshine mechanisms to help hold the Bureau of Prisons accountable for the public safety and racial disparities. This, this is a rare, clean bill that does no harm. Number seven, one of the, America's most tough-on-crime presidents has become a vocal proponent of smart-on-crime pro policies. Eight, the conservative movement has embraced justice reform with unprecedented force and passion. Nine, justice reform advocates broke the McConnell roadblock. The cynics lost. Okay, so President Trump signed this bill. Why did he sign this bill? Why didn't he veto the bill to give a wink and a nudge and a subliminal to all the horrible people that were, that were just waiting for that tweet? The, the, probably the absolute most ridiculous rebuttal or statement was he knew what he was doing. No, you create and you fabricate. President, How can President Trump be this big buffoon that just basically used Russian interference and, you know, just doesn't know what he's doing, but he's so smart that he is, he is speaking subliminally to the people of Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania. Where, by the way, which states have the most uh, hardcore uh, racist that he was speaking to that would utilize that, that white, um, uh, the, the power statement that was in the, the which which states, which cities? I want to know. I want to know. Because when you say that he knew what he was doing, well, he it's a subliminal. Trump always acts in subliminal ways that you know. He does it on purpose. But when he signed the executive order on combating anti-Semitism, so when he, when he signed, I just want to know. Cause, so if you're like this left-leaning uh, progressive fighting the good fight, and oh yeah, you know that Trump was speaking, and he has a problem with tweets. I, I said that he should not retweet. So I, I said that he shouldn't fall into any traps. This is, again, you're giving, you're giving people who are already rabid 
Okay, 10 reasons to celebrate the First Step Act. So were any subliminals? No. Executive order on combating anti-Semitism. I look at the like some of the progressive um, Twitter profiles from time to time to see what they're talking about. They're not talking about much, but you can rest assured they have, a, they have pure contempt for the state of Israel, the only Jewish state in the world. Pure contempt. Now, you can say, well, you know, that's not true. Go ahead and read what they're, what they're tweeting out. This is President Trump signing an executive order uh, on combating anti-Semitism, okay, on college campuses, which is rampant. Um, my administration is committed to combating the rise of anti-Semitism and anti-Semitic incidents in the United States and around the world. Um, has increased in 2013, and students in particular continue to face harassment, anti-Semitic harassment in schools and on university and college campus, campuses. It's rampant, cloaked within the guise of, oh, well, you know, it's justice and we want to be uh, fair to uh, one group of people, but definitely not fair to the only, the only Jewish state in the entire planet. But again, the left doesn't look at that. They look at Trump's tweets. Trump signs executive order combating anti-Semitism on campuses. Um, President Trump on Wednesday signed an executive order to, uh, intended to combat anti-Semitism on college campuses that have, has triggered a, a pushback. Um, of course, it always anything he does triggers a pushback. Anything he does. The order will allow administration, the administration to define uh, Jewish people as a national origin rather than just a religion, a controversial step that grants broader authority uh, to the Department of Education to respond to anti-Semitic incidents on the college campuses under Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Okay, the order also adopts the International Holocaust Rem Remembrance Alliance's board definition of anti-Semitism, which, which considers certain criticism of Israel to be anti-Semitic. When you're comparing Israel to um, a word I can't even say on YouTube, then yeah, that is anti-Semitism. Okay, it is because there's zero comparison. And any other absurd, if you wanted to make an absurd comparison, any country in the world today could be compared. So again, I don't have to get into it. President Trump signs the First Step Act. President Trump signs an executive order combating anti-Semitism. So I'm, I'm doing this because I want to know where, so President Trump tweeted and he had the, um, he had the, the subliminal message because he retweeted old people arguing, which, by the way, the first word from the liberal old person was race, you know, racist, race, you know. And then who knows what the, the old guy was saying. He said a phrase that he was, everybody was hyped up. They're in their 80s. They're hyped up. They don't know what they're talking about. They have no clue that this is going to be used throughout the country. And that other man, do you think that other man was really part of one of those, you know, horrendous, evil terrible organizations almost certainly not but even if he was which he's not i'm sure what do you think like all of these subliminals is there a subliminal also to the first step act i'm asking anyone on the left is there a subliminal also to the um to the uh signing of uh the combating at the executive order combating anti-semitism is there a si is there a subliminal to the signing of the first step act is there a subliminal also to trump signs bill restoring funding for black colleges. This is the first time you've heard any of this if you're on the left and you're watching this. Generally, people who support Trump. But see, I don't support Trump because he retweeted um, the, the, the absurd tweet of today. And therefore, because he did that, I then uh, take uh, that retweet, which he deleted, which he really meant, you know, he really meant it. He never said both sides in terms of calling the bigoted, horrible, nasty, disgusting people fine people. That was twisted. That was twisted into, well, he knew what he was doing. You Try living your life with, with a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or a husband, or a wife who says, you knew what you were doing. Where's the remote control, honey? Oh, I left it in the kitchen. It's in the kitchen? You know what you were doing. Why would it even be there? You know what you were doing. It's like... Trump, President Trump has a problem with the with tweets. Oftentimes, he needs to tone it down. I I stated that he needs to be smarter. He cannot fall into any traps because you're giving you're throwing red meat to a bunch of like hungry lions. They are gonna see that 
the left and media they don't they never say Democrats claim without evidence that Trump sublim that that Trump and this is the important issue before we get to Trump signs bill restoring funding for black colleges actually that's the most important issue but they don't say Trump they don't say Democrats without evidence they don't say Democrats without evidence uh, claim that Trump sent a subliminal. Where's the evidence he sent a subliminal? Where's the evidence that 63, at, at any portion of 63 million people are racist? I want to know. Where's the evidence? Because you saw one or two um, people wearing a, a Trump shirt saying something horrible. Okay, you could do the same thing. I won't even get into it, but you could do the same thing and flip it and say, well, Democrats and this and that. But I won't even, I'm not even going to go there. But you can, you can always find, well, here, you can, what, what, um, what, uh, what Joe Biden said, what Joe Biden said, the comment, the you ain't, if you have a problem deciding who you're for, then me or Trump, then you ain't black. So that is infinitely worse, in my view, than retweeting a bunch of old people yelling. And of course, the, the person on the golf cart, I mean, this is what it's come to. I feel bad for that man. Because that man was probably, probably never, not a racist person, but said something out of response to the guy calling him the the first thing, doesn't know the man, first thing he says racist, and then uh, he, he made that response at, to, to either try to, you know, to either try to, um, in an outlandish or satirical or anger, ang you know, frustrated moment, make a statement that he truly doesn't believe in, just to just to kind of rub it into the face of the anti-Trump support. I don't know what the the mindset is, but these are not millennials you're talking about. They don't have the same sensibilities. Where if you say something, it's going to be retweeted a million times. But here, why would Trump do this? Trump signs bill restoring funding for black colleges. President Donald Trump on Thursday signed a bipartisan bill that will per permanently provide more than $250 million a year to the nation's historically black colleges and universities. Oh, you don't care about that left-leaning person who retweeted Trump's tweets. Oh, that's right. You don't care about that because the only thing you do care about is cyber this cyber world that won't, like, you think Twitter's going to be around in three, four years, five years? Why? You think it, it'll go the way of MySpace either three years from now or 10 years from now. But every, all your, like, let's say you got retweeted 100,000 times. Nobody will remember that in the future, okay? 10, 15 years from now, nobody will remember you got retweeted 100,000 times. They'll only remember eight years of President Trump. Because if you focus on this and you don't give people a reason to vote for Democrats, that's one of the main reasons. And also, Hillary Clinton's going to be nominated. It ain't going to be Biden. It ain't going to be Biden. What he said in the Charlemagne interview was worse than what Trump retweeted, which was what Trump didn't say. But you think that he did say it because it's a subliminal. But is this a subliminal? Trump signs a bill restoring funding for black colleges. President Donald Trump on Thursday signed a bipartisan bill that will permanently provide more than $250 million a year to the nation's historically black colleges and universities, along with dozens of other in of institutions that serve largely that, that serve large shares of minority students. In signing the bill, Trump said historically black schools have, quote, never had better champions in the White House when, quote, when I took office, I promised to fight for HBCUs and my administration continues to deliver. So, uh, uh, Michael Lomax, president and CEO of the United Negro Co College Fund, thanked Trump and thousands of advocates who lobbied um, uh, Congress to support the bill. We enlisted more than 20,000 supporters and, and to write and call their members of Congress. Lomax said, this activated, army of, this activated army of advocates became the front line of support for HBCUs and they won the battle for our institutions. The bill restores $250 million, $255 million in annual funding that lapsed September 30th after Congress failed to renew it. Why would the House... Why would the House, um, facing an end to the funding, some schools had started planning for deep cuts, uh, with some telling uh, staff their jobs or programs would be eliminated? Why wasn't this front and center? Oh, that's right. Well, oh, that's right. Because Democrats in December were focusing on impeachment. So HBCUs were at risk of losing hundreds of millions of dollars. Historically, black colleges, do you think Democrats cared? They were focused on impeachment. So I gave you just three examples. He was also the first president to step foot in North Korea. Okay. 
if you again you could take if you have a complex and your life focuses on a deranged view of what a good person is and what a bad person is retweeting something is meaningless it does not mean Trump did not retweet that he, Trump retweeted that because he he it was a lapse in um that was a lapse in just judgment basic judgment he should never have retweeted it but that doesn't mean that his retweet me does his retweet mean more than the executive order on combating I have to spoon feed this to the left. Does his retweet mean more than the executive order on combating anti-Semitism? No. Does his retweet mean more than signing the First Step Act with all the amazing things that Van Jones was talking about uh, regarding the bill? No. Does his retweet mean more than restoring two hundred and fifty five million dollars in funding for historically black colleges? No. But that's not what that's not what media cares about. Media without evidence claims that Trump retweeted um, a very bizarre like old people old person melee uh, just because he is speaking to a contingent of very racist Trump supporters. He knew what he was doing. That has to be the most absurd phrase. He knew what he was doing. Really? Did he know what he was doing when he signed an, an order executive, uh, combating anti-Semitism? Did he know what he was doing when he signed a bill restoring funding for black colleges? Did he know what he was doing when he signed the First Step Act? Did he know what he was doing when he was the first president to step foot in North Korea? Did, did Biden know what he was doing when he said, you ain't if you don't vote for, you ain't black if you don't vote for me? Did, he, did Biden know what he was doing? Oh, Biden didn't know what he was doing. But Trump does know what he's doing at all times, but Biden didn't. President Trump should not have retweeted that video. Okay, he should not have retweeted that video. I'm, I said this, I said this, I said he should not have retweeted the. He, he's gonna fall. I don't want him to fall into traps, of his own making, so he can't do that. The, the if the White House or anyone sees this, he cannot do that, because anything he he deleted the video. Did he know what he was doing then? Why didn't he keep it up? What did, what does he care? He needs these contingent of people. Well, no, you see, because he. He sent it out because that old person said something and then it gets to a homing beacon and all the horrible, crazy, racist people on the planet. And then they marched like zombies in Michigan and uh, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin and they vote again. And these places hadn't voted for a Republican since the 80s. And they voted for President Obama twice. So, but he knew what he was doing. Well, did he know what he was doing when he signed... Uh, a bill to give hundreds of millions to historically black colleges. Did he know what he was doing when he signed a bill to combat anti-Semitism? Did he know what he was doing when he signed the First Step Act, prison reform? Bill Clinton and Biden and Hillary Clinton uh, pushed for mass incarceration. This made the super predator comment, who should be brought to heel and who lack empathy, how quick we forget. Uh, if words matter, then why don't they matter when Democrats utter them? Oh, that's right. Because there's never any subliminal intent. Even though Bill Clinton flew back to Arkansas to witness the execution of a black man to show that he was tough on crime. That actually was a subliminal. Even though Hillary used a 3 a.m. ad that showed uh, a person of color outside trying to break into a house uh, in the, at 3 in the morning when she was answering the phone. Oh, yeah, that had nothing to do with running against President Obama. Oh, by the way, where did the birther myth start? Oh, that's right. Uh, Clinton's campaign spread a photo of President Obama in African attire. So, I mean, it's like, look, you can't expect Democrats to look back eight or four years into the past. If it happened three months ago, it's ancient history. There, Look, <laughs> President Trump messed up today. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. He messed up. He messed up. But this mentality, this absurd, ludicrous mentality, you're talking about people who are so focused on image, but, but substance, they're focused on like, you know, um, the side item. 
you can give them meat and potatoes and, you know, they won't even look at it. They'll be like, no, 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 we want this garnish right here. That's that's the, the image. It's all about public relations. I gave you three examples, uh, historically black college funding, uh, combating anti-Semitism, and, um, and uh, the prison reform legislation. There are probably more examples also. I think there's, there's also the um, community zones. Let's see. Um, where, where businesses, community zones, uh, Trump, um, economic, economic zones, opportunity zones. Trump to steer more money to opportunity zones. Was that also a, was that also a subliminal? Uh, President Trump directed federal agencies on Wednesday to steer spending towards certain distressed communities across the country. Part of his administration's push to turn a tax break in, into last year's uh, tax package into a broader effort to combat poverty and, and geographic inequality. Um, uh, Mr. Trump signed an executive order at the White House to push federal resources to so-called opportunity zones. Uh, a small but lucrative provision tucked into his leg uh, signature tax cuts that in recent months have vaulted to prominence among real estate. Okay, so, um, of course, that, let's see, opportunity. So, wh who knows how that's working, but at least it was a, at least it was an attempt. Let's see. So, who knows how that's working? I don't, and are opportunity zones working? Let's just see. But see, this is something the left doesn't even care about. Like, they, they care about retweets. Opportunity zones incentive sees early success. Okay. So, investment. Okay, so, they are working to a certain extent. Or at least if they can revitalize um, economically distressed areas, that, that could help out. So, see here. Um, so there are mixed reviews. But anyway, the point is, at least that was another thing that President Obama or Biden or Democrats, Clinton's going to be nominee, it ain't going to be Biden, but that's another thing that they didn't even think of. Give me your thoughts below. Every, anything good President Trump does that Democrats have never done, prison reform, anti-Semitism, executive order, um, uh, they didn't make historically black colleges an issue, they only focused on Russia, gee, I wonder why. Uh, anything good that Trump does, never a subliminal never an un a hidden uh, you know trying to be a good person trying to be a good president trying to actually do good just just things never that it's always well do you understand to the minds of uh, of people on the left that retweet today far overshadows prison reform historically black colleges funding and the uh, executive order combating anti-semitism far overshadows that and that's where we are as a country. So President Trump cannot make the same mistakes again uh, as he did today with that cr ridiculous retweet. He should never have retweeted that. And also, nothing gets Democrats more aroused than watching any group of people argue over President Trump. And especially you have old people. I mean, this is what have we come to? That's like elder abuse, watching these people yell at each other. And then, of course, you get the, the Democrats cussing and yelling, using profanity, and then saying, well, look at what... And then the, the woman says, well, look at what the... Pre if you want a, a decent person, look at the president's. Like, um, <laughs> I don't even know where to go there. Give me your thoughts below. I mean, it's just give me your thoughts below. Subscribe to H.A. Goodman's other channel right now.